identify uh, the velocity in each pipe to check uh, the velocity and the diameter used. Now I will do it through the software, through the sewer gems. Let me open a new hydraulic model. I will... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just set, setting the, the the constraints needed in my design. Okay, here I can just draw the uh, my example, my simple example here. First manhole, second, third, and the last manhole should be outfall. Uh, so gems need to understand the last manhole should be the outfall. Okay, let me uh, enter the specification of each pipe and the elevation for each manhole and the outfall. Then I will enter the flow in each manhole and uh, ask the program to do the uh, calculation. I will start with the... Uh, with the conduits or pipes, it's conduit number one, or we can call it pipe one. Pipe one, pipe two, and pipe three, or we can do it from here. There is different way to do that. So pipe one, manhole one, and manhole two. Pipe two, manhole two, and manhole three. Pipe three, it's manhole three, and uh, outfall. Okay, what else I need from the pipe? I need to identify the length of each pipe. The first one it was 50, the second was 60, the third was 75. It was a circle, it was a concrete. The diameter, I can just suppose the diameter 200 millimeter as initial diameter. For the material, of course, I will work with the concrete. Uh, concrete, let's say. Let's say from here, concrete it will be better. Okay, that's what I need to know about the pipes for the manholes. Uh, quickly, I need to enter the elevation for the manholes because this manhole one, two, three, four, the elevation for the manhole one, it was 500, it was nine. Sorry, four, nine, eight. This is what I need to know about the manhole, uh, the manholes. The outfall, of course, I need to know about the outfall from here. I can just press here and go and write here 497. Now I have the pipes, I have the manholes. I need just to uh, to uh, identify the the catalog because yes, I said concrete was under the the, the program will not understand the concrete uh, as as the word. I need to give him from the catalog to go to the catalog and understand that from here to understand that I will work on the material and the concrete material yes this and the metric units okay millimeter I don't need all this in my example I think I need just maybe this will be this will be enough I will delete this you can see the diameter okay available for design is available for design okay 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 Everything is okay here, so I will close it now. Uh, now I will enter the the flue from the Excel sheet. Look to the first the first point. The total flue, how much? The total flue includes drain and unknown. This is the drain flue and unknown flue and drain water. If we are working in the just we need pipe to uh, to uh, to discharge or drain just drain water. So then I can delete. The dry and unknown and keep just the rainwater but i will keep it all uh 12.5 mm -hmm. 
here there is the first manhole yes and here flow 12.5 here it is a smart program so he will understand the sequences of the flow so no need here to uh, put accumulative uh, flow just you need to put each area each area the, 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 the flow from each area just no need to work on the accumulative so here it's not correct here because the total area should be just its area just its area so this is the total flow uh, 30 and 40 let's back to the second manhole it is 30 the third manhole is 40 okay what else I don't think there is anything else let me check the, the layout uh, analysis validate no problem now compute no no need to save anything now it is everything is done. Let me check the velocity now quickly. Look, this is the velocity. 1.2. 1 1.5. 1 almost 1.5. 1 1.2, 1.5. While in my calculation, as I remember, because I changed something here, it was 1.16, if you remember. So, yeah, and almost we are close to each other now, but this is in the, in the silver gems, it is more accurate. Now, what else I need to know? I need to know uh, some information about the, uh, for example, the diameter. Yeah, of course, the diameter needed in my design. It is structure. Diameter is fine. Where is the diameter? This is the diameter D plus apply, let's say one, one or two. Okay, look, 200 is enough. 200 enough. 250. This is the diameter. Now the slope, or look, look to the uh, manhole and the elevation. Let's go to the manhole. Let's check the invert. Elevation. It's very important. The invert. This is the invert. Let me check the other uh, other component. Uh, the depth for each manhole. Structure depth. Yeah, we can do some visualization and make it very clear by just press here. This is the, the first manhole, the depth for the first manhole, the depth for the sixth manhole. The depth is different between the elevation, the ground elevation, and the invert elevation. The invert, I mean by the invert, the elevation of the lowest point in the pipe, on the internal pipe. Now, if I need to do the, the profile, let me check the profile. First point. Uh, sorry first point and last point reverse open engineering you see this is my this is the elevation the first manhole you can see this is the first manhole the invert the depth this is the pipe this is information about the pipe the length of the pipe the slope of the pipe the material of the pipe and the diameter of the pipe you can see this is the blue line it is the water the, within the pipe you see this all the information that you need all the information that you need this is how we can do the design and check everything and of course we can uh, send this uh, design to the AutoCAD and do uh, do whatever uh, we want and even we can uh, show the table here everything and in the table 